What's up YouTube? So today I am at, I believe it is pronounced Carillon Park. And you can see from the back of me, anybody that's been to Dayton, Ohio definitely knows this. It's this giant tower that you see on the, uh, the uh, highway. It's got a bunch of bells in it and I actually didn't know what it was till right now when I'm looking at it. But it's crazy. There's like probably 10 bells in that thing. Big giant freaking Liberty Bell looking things. So that's pretty cool. But we're gonna go inside here, check it out, see what they got. I know this is a very interesting museum that I've seen other people go to. I'm really excited to come in here and check it out, see what they've got. Uh, kind of kind of been a Ohio bucket list place for me to, to go to, to be honest with you. So let's go see what they got. Oh, they're playing some nice classic old timey sounding music here too. I like it. Also, Check out this trash can, man. This is a nice trash can. This is a Disney Park-esque style trash can. I'm impressed already. I haven't even walked in the door. I'm kind of getting Henry Ford Museum vibes as I walk in here. This is the main lobby area. Let's get our ticket and go to work. All right, so we got our ticket, which I'm trying to get out to show you guys. Here we are. Boom. Ticket. Um, I think we're going to head outside first. And then we'll come back in for some things. The gentleman at the desk said outside there's a lot of cool exhibits to uh, go check out. He said I should have plenty of time to see everything I need to see before they're closed. And yeah. This is definitely very familiar feeling this feels like the henry ford i guess it's totally what it reminds me of. wow there's a freaking train oh my gosh well we may have to go get on that train i don't want to miss that it looks like it's five bucks for a train ride um i'm gonna go see if i can ride the train because that sounds like fun to me it's chilly out and i still want to ride this train wow look at that there's an old train over there oh here comes the train let's do this Yeah. Uh, a lot of views are going to be off the left side. Okay. Thank you. So apparently you have to get your ticket inside. Usually they have somebody at that booth. No one was there. Uh, the gentleman's being nice enough to let me ride as an honor system. So I get done with this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go inside and spend the five bucks to ride this because this should be cool. With your hands, arms, legs, and heads inside the coach at all times. And please, watch your children. Pulling us on our journey today is the Jane Ellen. She is based on one of the first locomotives to pull passengers into Dayton in 1851. That year marked the beginning of rapid travel for Daytonians by rail. As you can kind of see as we're here on the uh, train ride, there's, this is a lot, there's a lot of acres here. I believe he said like 50 plus acres of buildings to check out. Oh, look, we're going in here. I wonder what's gonna be in here. This should be cool. looks to be some sort of a uh, model train rail here. I don't see any running. Looks like they're all under that tent right there actually. But that's pretty cool. There's also Early a little lunch tower here. This you know it's coal fired steam power that generates the electricity. To As we steam on along our route, we're now pulling alongside an original remnant of the Miami Erie Canal. This 248-mile-long engineered waterway once connected the Ohio River with Lake Erie. But just the canal propelled Dayton's growth, so did the National Road, and the numerous railroad lines running in and out of Dayton in every direction of the compass. Well, speaking of railroads, let's keep steaming ahead. There's an old Beetlejuice bridge. At least that's what I call them. Looks like the bridge from Beetlejuice. Old covered bridge 
I guess you could say Sleepy Hollow too, but say, I always the remember Beetlejuice. Talk about transportation. Have you ever wondered where we'd be without practical aviation? Well, the most original of all surviving Wright Brother airplanes is the 1905 Wright Flyer 3, and it's up ahead in the Wright Brothers National Museum. A four-building complex dedicated to Wilbur and Orville, our hometown heroes. From humble beginnings, these two brothers worked, saved, struggled, and with determination, put everything at risk to solve for the world the mystery of modern flight. Wright Brothers Museum is right here. Something I'm definitely going to have to check out. I don't know if I'll check it out today, but at some point I'll have to come back and see what they got. Obviously, they got cool things. By the way, we got another amazing trash can right here. Look at this thing. I can't believe how cool these trash cans are. They remind me so much of Disney World. Okay, so the reality is sinking in that there's supposed to be a pretty decent sized snowstorm today in Ohio and I am an hour and a half from home and I do not want to drive back roads all the way home in the snow so here's what I'm gonna do like this video and everything else uh, I'm gonna come back and look at all the stuff out here because there's a lot out here that's for sure I want to come back and check out the Wright Brothers Museum looks like they've got another uh, Wright Cycle Company store up there as well which is similar to the one I saw at the aviation place um, up here somewhere. But, I mean, there's there's a lot. There's a lot in this little park to check out. I just don't think I have all the time to do it. So I'm going to go inside and check out the inside part of the museum. Get that documented for all you to enjoy. And we'll come back. And we'll check out this. And we'll highlight some more stuff inside. But I'm going to try and film the best video I can for you. I'm going to spend maybe about 30 more minutes here and then I'm getting the heck out and going to start driving home. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but there's flurries coming down right now. And uh, I hate snow. I hate driving in snow. I hate it all so much. So let's go check out inside. All right, so we're back inside here. Like I said, I'm going to spend about 30 more minutes here and I'm going to have to bail. So I'm going to try not to go super fast, but this video might speed up a little bit. Um... Here we have a bunch of cash registers, <laughs> as the cash register was invented here. Lots of different cash registers. And if you look here, it actually does like a good job of showing you which what each one is. And if you look, you'll see numbers below them. That one says 73, 72. Just to show you the different types of cash registers they have, and you can look at them. These things are these things are cool. Like, these are really, really, really cool looking. And uh, now I'm going to try to test out my low light footage for this camera in here. But you got a lot of other things to check out. Here's uh, Smokey the Bear. A few different art pieces here. Look at this. Got some Keebler Elf stuff over here. Flintstones. I think, I don't know if I said it in this video or another video, but Dayton's got some very interesting history. Like, there's stuff that you wouldn't think that they are known for, that they've had here. But, uh, they definitely do. And it, it's just weird, like, like a freaking cash register. Like, how strange is that? But still pretty interesting to see that stuff. So, yeah, just go walk around and look at various things. This camera is amazing. That looks better on the camera than it does in real life. Like, I can see it better in my camera. So, that's cool. It's a uh, little buggy for the J.L. Baker Carriage Company. It's 
pretty neat. I just can't believe how cool this, how good of a job this camera does in get, get capturing this. Like, that looks so good. All right, remember what I said about Dayton having some strange history. Here they have Frigidaire, and this is where they made them in, in Dayton, Ohio. You never know what you're gonna find. Oh, this is cool. This is signed by a uh, Electric Frigidaire signed maker unknown. This just has a bunch of signatures in it. I don't know, maybe it was people in a factory of some sort. I'm just kind of making a guess. See that sign up there? Here you've got some uh, various automotive things. And these trucks are freaking crispy. Like these vehicles are like super clean and crispy. Yeah, look at this. Harrison Radiator. It's an old S10. You can look at here. You can see it taken apart in various sections. Look at that. That's cool. And here's the motor. This looks like there's a some S10 stuff here. Maybe they had an S10 factory. Um, let me read this real quick. So yeah, it looks like GM had a plant here in Dayton. And uh, you can see here highlighting it says Dayton became Little Detroit and this was the stuff they made here S10s were among some of the automobiles made here in Dayton Ohio hey, these things are just so freaking clean man you never see an S10 that clean anymore like this thing's probably got no miles on it 1982 Chevy S10 that is cool And look, here's a uh, diesel truck engine. Doesn't say what kind of diesel truck engine, just a diesel truck engine. Some gearhead knows what that is. I don't. Here's a Denali. Good old Denali. Oh, there's just so much in this museum, guys. This is, this is overwhelming. I didn't even show you guys this. I'm not gonna be able to show you everything. I'm sorry, there's snow coming. I can't, I can't show everything. Look, there's an upstairs. Like, I didn't know this place was this big. This is crazy. Take the home outside. Take the home outside. I hope this low light turns out as good as it looks. If it turns out as good as it looks in my camera, I'm very excited for the future of low light videos on this channel. I'm only using the low light mode, and it looks fantastic. Like, there's hardly any lighting in here besides on the vehicle. And in the view right now, it looks freaking great. So, hopefully it looks good on YouTube. We've got a little train here. Looks like here's a little train model. These are always cool to check out. And if you look right here, here's a crazy carousel with a bunch of unique Dayton, Ohio only stuff on it. Speaking of cash registers, look at this. Here's some more cash registers. All sorts of cash registers here. And then yeah, look, here's a carousel token for $1. You can ride on this crazy looking carousel right here with all these crazy looking things. <laughs> this is one of the most unique carousels in the world. I mean, there's a, there's a thing of dog food. You can ride on a dog food. There's chocolate. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep looking at this. Bicycle, motorcycle, things like that makes sense. Is that a pop can? There's a pop can? A bag of chips? What in the frick? <laughs> this is crazy. I'm going to have to come back here and ride this. And you bet I'm going to ride on that bag of dog food. I didn't see a... Uh, cash register actually but there's definitely a lot of other stuff look at that it's a bat it's a it's a thing of dog food that's freaking hilarious yes hey, here's a here's a toilet that's pretty cool here's some Dayton reliable tool and manufacturing DRT okay so they manufactured pop cans here 
So that's why that pop can was on that. Here's a here's a fountain. And a frog. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like they manufactured uh, motorcycles here too. I mean, it's just, there's so much. There's so much I gotta try to take in here. And it's just, I, I've i never felt like I don't have enough time than right now. Like I just, I do not have, I've not allowed myself enough time in this place to look at everything. <laughs> it's so crazy in here. Like it's huge. All right, leaving all the cash registers and the other various things there. Um, we're gonna check out another exhibit over here. Am I looking at an animatronic? What is this? Oh, look, it's, it's her. The idea of Whoa. building a carillon for Dayton came to me several years ago when my husband, Edward, and I were traveling in Europe. This is Edith Incidentally, Walton. Incidentally, I do right love here. to Edith travel. Walton Deeds. Whether by railroad coach, automobile, the founder sailing of ship, Carol or Park. airplane. In fact, it may surprise you to learn that I was the first woman to fly from Dayton to Columbus. We made that trip in my husband's Ford trimotor airplane. Deeds Carillon. That is the bell tower that I pointed out in the beginning of the video. And there are 32 bells inside it. Wow. That's freaking wild. She's still talking. So this is actually where I started. Um, and there's a few things in here. Talking about more about the cash register. Man, they really like that cash register. That's, that's the main lobby there that you come in. But this gives you kind of more of like the history of the park, different things here, buildings. Th this is almost everything that you can look at actually. You can see all the different attractions here at Carillon Park. Still in low light mode by the way for anybody that is paying attention to uh, my actual video here. I'm really risking that it looks good. One millionth Huffman bicycle. Wow. Another thing I'm going to plug somewhere up here, the um, bicycle museum that I went to last year that had the Pee Wee Herman bike. Check it out. You'll enjoy it. And I almost walked right by this for uh, moving on. But you can see here, this is a piece of unrestored airplane elevator which I assume is a wing look at this this is unrestored from 1905 cheers to Jim City which is the nickname of Dayton looks like this is a bunch of wow Roger Glass gallery I was already looking at stuff what are these things called Steins. There's a bunch of freaking Steins right here. Look at that. There's another sign up there. Here's another sign. Sign, sign, everywhere is sign. Yeah, so this is a collection of, of various different Steins. And I'm gonna imagine that Steins were uh, produced here in Dayton. And that's why these are all here. Let me read something to confirm that. Yep, that's what it was. Steins and signs. Looking around here at the gift shop. It's a pretty big gift shop. There's a lot here. But I just want to point this out. Look at this. It's a shirt for the Dayton Triangles. They actually have a lot of stuff for the Dayton Triangles. They got a hat here. They got a little ornament here. A little flyer. Lots of stuff. Along with this guy right here. I don't know if it's going to zoom in on it or not. It wants to focus on my face. There we go. One with that. 
real generic pin, but still pretty cool. All right, well, that is going to do it for today as far as the Carillon Park goes. Um, that is one of the coolest things I have probably ever been to in Ohio. And excuse me if the wind is bad right now, um, but that is like, first of all, I think that was $14 and like big whoop, $14. Like it's got way more than $14 worth of fun in there to check out. I already want to come back and spend more time outside when it's not cold and there's not about to be a snowstorm and I'm not worried about driving in the snow. I definitely want to come check that out again. But uh, I am astonished at how cool that was. Uh, I will compare it to the Henry Ford Museum. I would almost say it is a scaled down version of the Henry Ford Museum in Ohio. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So a lot of Dayton history. Now the Henry Ford Museum has just a lot of history in general. The Greenfield Village and the uh, museum inside. It's probably the best museum I've ever been to. I will say that about the Henry Ford. It's a top tier museum. Yeah, I think it's probably the best. I, well, let's be, I mean, the Moth, <laughs> the Mothman Museum is really cool, but like the Henry Ford Museum historically, it, it's got most bang for your buck. So if you're ever in Dearborn, Michigan, you need to check that out. However, if you're ever in Dayton, Ohio, and you're down here looking at stuff or you're traveling through, you have to come here. This is a cool place to check out. Um, you can spend a lot of time in there. And there's a there's a brewing company right next to it, I just noticed. And I, I was actually walking over to this thing. Look. Whoop. That's where I'm going. I want to want to get a better view of it. It's probably going to be the end scene where I like walk up to it with my new tracking ability and you guys get to see me do it. But uh, uh, it's crazy. You should see all the bells. I'm not going to be able to zoom in on all the bells on this tower, but it's cool. Now I'm going uphill. All right. Long-winded outro. Thank you guys for watching this, uh, enjoying it. Like I said, if you are in Dayton, this is a place you should check out. You should come here. You should look at all the weird, wacky history of Dayton. I'm coming back. I'll be back here at some point, hopefully this year, to check it out in depth, take some time, realize that this is more than just a 30 minute stop. This is a long stop that you should take. I made it up here to Deeds, Carolyn, Carolyn, Car I think it's Carolyn. Look at this. All right, and there it is. I would say they're uh, the Cinderella Castle of Carillon Park right here. All right, that's it. Like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Till next time.